Hey gang, we've got another Rutzel 2021A organized by the ever amazing Fruit Strike, taking over from Shaq's Capables. Uh, yep, so game two, lost the first one to Batchia Kamel. Uh, that's up on the YouTube thing, which I've just spoiled, so maybe you should watch that one first. Too late now. Uh, yeah, so I uh, haven't played Tom before. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, yeah, let's kick off. Yeah, that's cool. We're supposed to start top of the air and it's one minute too, so I'm sure I won't surprise them. Plus two random, 60 minute clock, not 90 minutes, and I look like I'm the filthy reds. No duck and cover, so de Gaulle's not going to fly. Not a bad starting hand. Um... Oh, uh, man. I mean, yeah. Defect is to avoid giving up a VP. Olympic Games for two VP of equity. Or we can headline De Gaulle and hope that he headlines Duck and Cover. But that doesn't seem super likely, does it? So, yes, a surfeit of ops, but no clear path, sadly. But let's plug in what we got. Yep, and yep. East European unrest and Indo Pakistani war. I mean, it's bland, right? But Olympic Games, probably the best headline. It's only galling when they... I mean, if they headline Marshall Plan set up, which they do, actually, that... That makes de Gaulle more attractive. Oh, unfortunately, it's going to trigger NATO as well, which is rubbish. So we're expecting a Marshall headline here. Uh, so it looks like we try and hold De Gaulle, I guess, knowing Defectors is gone, and deal with Europe next turn. So that makes Olympic Games the headline, I guess. Do we want to snag 1.2, 1, 1 VP of X2? We can always space Defectors. Yeah, fine. Curses. That gets us off to a nasty start in Europe. Oh, and we lose the Olympic Games as well, just for good measure. What a kick in the teeth. And we're going to trigger NATO, so special relationship can come in. A lousy coup on Iran. So, so far, everything has gone badly. Let's see how long we can do that for. We'll get a counter-coup in Iran, at least. Great. Okay, so we'll get a coup off in Panama. And we will fill South Korea with US Japan and play into Pakistan, spacing defectors. Although there's part of me that thinks God purge as well. Yeah, cool. We want to hold the goal. So we'll use Eastern European Unrest. We 
We don't need adjacency to Italy at this point. Yikes. So we've both had a surfeit of ops, right? 4, 8, 11 for them so far. And they've got Europe scoring. Oh, that's a kick in the nuts. Right, well, space defectors. Oh, we, we do at least go after space. There's something. And we don't need to worry about CIA. Overprotecting Tiny still going into now is great for us. We'll now press for some VP instead. And miss. That's a shame. And we're going to headline De Gaulle. We kind of want to get special relationship in our hand to get value from it. Sokkov going off space, fine. They hit two. We get duck and cover, so we can do all duck and cover and then event NASA. That'll be expensive. We'll be able to overprotect. France from a special relationship as well, at least. Uh, I think we're going to have to headline to Gaul because we're not going to get another chance. Middle East drops for zero, so we're going to going to be going into mid war very low. So I must remember to overprotect France by at least two. So yeah, yikes. Need to spend independent reds fairly soon. You, man, Tom is off to the races. I think we're going to want to hold Cambridge 5 for the next turn, so we'll event NASA at the end of AR6.
Okay, it's useful most so I've not tracked that properly. The deck stacks slightly more red. Disappointing we've not seen decol or D-style. Special relationship, containment, Norad, Truman are the last few. He's left to thinking. Uh, what's good? Playing into Laos to start pressuring India. Playing into Libya. Playing into Algeria. Playing into Angola are all pretty viable. Even Jordan threatens Saudi. Although it's a scored region. These are all thoughts that are running through his mind. Along with, of course, simply eventing special relationship. Not entirely sure what he's chewing over. Dropping Asia scoring for zero, that wouldn't be unreasonable. I'm not going to get domination there, but... They've got plenty of space fodder. If they don't play remaining application right now, I don't have a space this turn. If they do play RA and place a single op somewhere, then at least I've got independent reds to space later. Suez, okay, great. So we get to... I mean, that's good for us in France. And they want to refill the UK to make sure special special relationships playable. So they must be holding D style because that's the last red three op card. Presumably they're holding D style and blockade here to ditch the last unknown three op card besides D style. So what do I expect to see two in Algeria, one in Laos? That wouldn't be too shabby. Two in Libya is fine. That has just scored. Although you want to put one back in the UK, unless you are holding special relationship. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fine. So we will not be able to get domination by doing. So what we're going to do is we'll go one India. They've now lost adjacency to Algeria, which works well for us. Overprotect France. They'll now play Burma, and we'll have to respond. Oh, Asia scoring, okay. This has been awful for tempo. So we'll take Burma and Pakistan. 
preparing to take India as well. I know it's just scored, but we want to shore up that region before Indo-Pakistani war comes along. And a chance to snag Burma isn't to be sniffed at. We've now got a bit more time to deal with Algeria, although if they have been special relationship, of course. Don't need to worry about Truman immediately. So we'll use Vietnam revolts to fill up. Hey, India. So there are now all sixes, which I can live with. AR5 will go to Algeria. Decold space, fine. Succeeds, that's a shame. AR5 will event NASA, actually. We'll do that, and then we'll use our ops advantage afterwards. I'm thinking uh, something to do with Libya and Egypt, one in Poland to protect against Eastern European unrest. Tapping the UK is probably not up to much when we know they're likely to blockade D style. And of course it is tragic that we get neither. There's Romanian abdication. So we think, like as not, they've got blockade and D style to finish. So we will go two Libya, one Syria, one Poland. What do you think? Because we don't need to worry about special relationship immediately. Is that best? They've only got one op. That dominates in two regions. And then they have to use their op in Southeast Asia to level up. Which, yeah, that's fine. That forces their hand a little. So we expect to see blockade D stole here or we'll be gobsmacked. No other combination really makes sense. Oh, great, we get Milops. So, level up Asia. Okay, now we kill on Zaire. Uh, looks like Cambridge 5 is the ideal headline. Gives us a chance to do something if they have a scoring card. Better than captured Nazi. Yeah, that's fine. Cambridge 5. They know we're holding it, mind. Duck and cover. Okay. They're holding Middle East. That's handy to know. We can seek to capitalize on that. First, let's plug our hand in. So we got containment. And NORAD. They got special relationship, which is tragic for us. And they did get D style and blockade. So presumably they held Arab Israeli war and blockade. I would have spaced Arab Israeli war, but meh, they're doing fine for VP. What do I know? Korean War, they got Fidel. And UN intervention. So we know they're holding special relationship, D style blockade, UN intervention, and Fidel. And Middle East scoring. And they've dropped Duck and Cover. And we got redealt Olympic Games and captured Nazi. And Arab Israeli War and Warsaw Pact. 
So we know six of their seven cards. Uh, so, one in Libya, and we'll start loading up non-battlegrounds and see how quickly they can drop it. Still going to go into mid-war quite far behind where we'd like to be. Well, we're spacing NORAD and hoping to have captured Nazi. They might want to space Fidel, but they want to blockade D-style, and we're still trying to find out what their last unknown card is. Yeah, they just drop it. Drop it like it's hot. So we space NORAD. And succeed. So now they have to respond with Fidel. And we're hoping they miss. Please miss. Dang it. Well, we still... We can do it later in the turn. We event Arab Israeli war for our milops and get VPs to boot, which is nice. And we're hoping they don't have Indo Pakistani war. Now, if they forget to play special relationship until late in the turn, we can jam it. Oh, they played it for influence. That's an error. Ooh, that's a. That's. Ooh, youch. That's two VP and two influence, uh, as our disgusting Prime Minister says, spaffed up the wall. But it's uh, their influence to spaff, I guess. I guess AR6 will flip Lao with containment to regain domination in Asia. So for now, we take Algeria. Yikes. Not inventing SRA. Eh? Whew. Here goes D style. Boo earns. Boo earns. And the influence went into Cameroon. Uh, okay, we'll start a coup war. Take that. You're having a go, hero. Miss. Splendid. We are going to event captured Nazi scientist. I kid you not. Having missed the 2 0 spot. That's fine. We'll keep containment uh, in the deck. Yeah, they don't bother with a 1 op coup. Fine. Mid war. Duck and cover's gone, but there's lots of other ways to, uh, I think, socialist governments, I guess, isn't shabby. Immediately threatens domination in Europe. So, add the mid-war. Sock of missile MV, arms race. Cube missile. Nuclear subs, AR-7. Colonial Rear Guards goes to space. Quite a red hand. 
Got CRG, Nixon, nuclear, some defectors, yeah. No, we'll go socialist governments. Hunter is so bad for us. So, two in South America and a coup on Panama here, and we could be in a really bad way. Ooh, whew. could have gone worse. We'll flip Lao and we'll threaten them in multiple fronts. As much as anything, because I don't actually have another viable target. We need to see We Will Bury You Gone before we can safely... So, so repair, repair, fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So we'll flip Vietnam. Keep up the pressure in Asia and generally cause a bit of mischief. Because we do want to stop them developing their board presence elsewhere. So five year plan, I'll just flip something straight back. Because uh, Nixon is in our hand, we will overprotect those. Not a great hand, mind. But we'll get there. We need to overtake North and South Korea now that we've handed over the China card. So there's, there's that to do. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's not great well, with South America now the way it is. And nuclear subs really isn't playable with Nigeria the way it is either. It is problematic. Uh, AR7 will use containment and we'll flip Zaire if we can, just to cause a bit of trouble. So 4, 5, space, 7. We can keep hold of... Space Colonial Regards hold defectors and nuclear subs. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, uh, maybe I'll hold Missile Envy and Op Defectors, because Missile Envy is still a much more fun headline. As long as they don't get off to space. Otherwise, um... So, Central America drops. Didn't get to Panama quickly enough. That's galling. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is so nasty. Oh well, we'll overprotect Asia. Give up 2 VP. Let's say we don't lose by 2 VP now. Hmm. <sighs> so all that bluffing in Asia actually cost 2 VP in Central America. Such is life. Hmm, well. So... Hmm, well I suppose actually the, uh, the way to look at eventing Nixon is that we should have been 2 VP further down because they use special relationship properly, so... The scoreline is a fair one. So the Brazil and start... J oh no, just jamming. Jamming, jamming. Do 
So we'll have to protect Burma to stop the... Oh, no, we'll... Meh, we'll put another one in India. Uh, come on, you... S use my mouse properly. There we go. They'll presumably tap India next because they want to try and walk to Pakistan. Alliance for Progress has gone. Yeah. So Space Colonial Rear Guards and uh, Event Containment AR6. And if they haven't overprotected Zaire, we go there just because that causes the most mischief. But the scoreline is just about saying it all. This is not good, and it will just take a very strong South America to put the game totally out of reach. Fifty fifty brush war in Thailand is on, but obviously we want to do Venezuela or Brazil first for access. Be nice to get Allende, otherwise we are in such a bad way in South America. And grain sales is still to come out. No ABM or brush either. But night Tom's in decent shape. Right. Of course, Mr. Lenvy becomes unheadlinable if they do peak. So we're not going to be salting D style either. And Zaya is overprotected, so this is all now a moot point. We'll put colonial rear guards in space. And it fails, because, you know, Roscosmos are on strike. Oh, and they got Brush War as well. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? So they're going to get Milops. Brushing Vietnam is weird, uh, but fine. They're obviously really worried about. Okay, so we will put two in Panama and one in Pakistan in case they tap India. And um, we want two in Panama, even though, because now brush has gone, we're mostly concerned about Voice of America. But that was gross, and we're now going to give up two VPs in Milops to boot. So, life is not great. We oh, Okay, so rattling their cage in Asia did turn out to be good, but only by luck rather than judgment. Southeast Asia scoring is crap for us. CIA is crap for us. Missile Envy loses when we get grain sales into We Will Bury You, or How I Learned Into We Will Bury You. But at this point, we're sufficiently far behind. Missile Envying isn't a terrible idea, I think. Like, we are a long way behind. Culture Revolution's another option. But Yusuri triggers before it anyway. And Asia scoring is just gone. Oh, we have Allende. Allende is nice. Uh, you serve stream doctrine, Allende, Muslim. Southeast Asia is going. Amit. Cult Rev. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, we'll go Allende. Oh, and we get bear trapped. Gross. So, 
um, emit first. We're out. So then I'm going to get to Ku Nigeria, but we will at least be able to level up. Ah, AR6, once they take Nigeria, AR6 nuclear subs, AR7 CIA. Miss, 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 miss. Didn't miss. Oh well. Yep, no, we'll use Culture Revolution and get ready to walk into Uruguay if they don't move into Brazil. Next up's Truman Doctrine. But yeah, AR6 nuclear subs for AR7 CIA. If they grain sales us and pull nuclear subs, the jig's up. Worth remembering that. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Shuttle dip. Yep. It is what it is. So we drop Southeast Asia scoring before it gets any worse. So we'll overprotect. Oh, Europe scoring drops for one. Event Truman Doctrine to get rid of it. And then we'll overprotect um, Argentina with the op. One for one. We need to overprotect Algeria ahead of the nuclear subs. So we'll hold Missile Envy, right? Oh, big six. There, yeah, they missed. That's fine. Rocking up those mil ops. Okay, overtake Algeria, threaten rear lines, and move into Israel. Middle East control is still viable. Of course, we're going to trigger CIA, so they're going to see we have missile envy, so the ruse isn't going to work. They Oh, coup with Camp David, that's brilliant. So we are going to get some milops. Brilliant, not eventing Camp David suits me down to the ground. Hmm. Oh, kept flower power for a monster. And they get it. We can ditch CIA, but now we're in a bad way. Yikes. Yeah. They might just have a one-up coup in Algeria to soften it up. So... We kind of need to get ABM as well as get a coup off next turn. So we need to be able ABM grain 
to at least have a chance at dealing with Africa and South America before they're scored, which is not a likely gambit. Yikes. Burr. Hey, well, at least we got CA at the deck. It's a start. Oh, yes, good shout. We will have a one up realign back. Oh, we get one out. Bonus. Oh, hello. That could have gone worse. It's still not good. We've got Africa scoring. We do not get a coup if they headline grain sales. I think we need to coup on Angola to start. Yikes. Ear. This isn't good. Africa. I'm a Libthy. At least we'll uh, be able to space VOA or hold it through the turn, through the reshuffle, right? Uh, Formosa, also a problematic card. I don't know, we're 4-2 four, four at the moment, so I suppose it's not. Formosa is less worrying. And Willy. Um, Willy breaks Europe, but Europe scored. Liberation Theology gets us to Cuba. I think we need to headline Liberation Theology and pray they don't have grain sales. Which is better than headlining Lone Gummer just to coup Cameroon. Yeah. Libthy. Purged. Beautiful. So we're looking for a nice big coup here. We don't get it. And now we're purged. We can't space VOA. So next up is a coup on Cameroon, which we hope isn't one op. Oh man, giving up Africa nomination is going to be hard. We were really hoping to get one or two in Angola there, just to start putting pressure on South America as well. Although we've we've got a handful of one op cards here, so what do we know? We're not going to get ahead in space with one small step either. Okay, right. So coup on Cameroon and pray for Mojo. Eh, well. Let's hope that they play into battlegrounds and not non-battlegrounds. And we're also hoping they get off to space and play into Cuba so we can all take them later. Well, puppet governments is going to do the job, isn't it? Cripes. Another coup on Cameroon, please. Excellent. Let's see if they go plus one on Cuba first. Oh, please miss. One op card, miss. Yes! Woo! One op coups in Africa are really. Really perilous. NATO's in play, so getting DEFCON up to five in Europe is not great. Ooh, oh, OAS for influence as well. Youch. So we will coup Haiti.
and we're going to hold VOA through the turn. We'll event Willy. We want the VP and we want to cause trouble in. Oh, that's a shame. In a way, it fails. We'll event Willy now just to distract him as much as anything. They know we've got Missile Envy, so we, we feasibly cannot event it. Puppet's gone. The deck's leaning red. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 cards. I've lost track of some, right? 14 in the draw plus 2 in their hand is 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, so what have I missed? Hampus, we will bury your Che. Brezhnev or Kogmara, you too. No South Africa, Portuguese, Vietnam, or Decol? No? Okay. ABM, Lads, and Summit. Have they gone? No Summit. No Lads, no ABM. Oh, yikes. Yusuri, Arsenal. Grain Sales, Pope, Sadat, and Kitchen. Kitchen's gone. Serious, not grain, John Paul, Sadat. Three, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. Ugh. Oh, so that's just gone. There we go. Right. I managed to keep tabs. So that's standard. We'll have the Hale minus one realign in. Nigeria. Way! One's all I need, pal. So we've managed to avoid Voice of America going in the reshuffle. Because we're going to get 16 cards out of a 14 deck. Yeah, great. So VOA is not going to haunt us in late war unless they Star Wars, which is still a potential. Things are not good, though, with the scoreline the way it is. So, yeah, it would be nice to be given ABM Treaty, having missed out on Brush War as well. But the deck is stacked fairly red. Your Siri Arsenal and Grain Sales are all gross. Even John Paul's a disaster, actually. So all of the remaining American events are pretty diabolical. I think, I don't know, we did alright that turn given we were under purge, it wasn't great if I was them I'd kill on Sahara states here to get access to Nigeria uh, influence instead, okay repair and dominate, fine Come on, ABM. To our hand, please. You can do it. Boom. No. We got grain sales. And sadly, we got Europe scoring just after they repaired. So, Quagmire. Quagmire seems best. No ABM. So gross.
Oh man, they've got a monster hand. So they've got We Will Bury You, ABM, Yasuri, Brezhnev, Ask Not. So they can Ask Not away all these nasty cards, although hopefully they get stuck with Lone Gunman as a result. ABM, We Will Bury You, Yasuri, Brezhnev, Ask Not, South Africa, Portuguese, and Decol. Yeah. Quagmiring them just gives him a chance to throw away some of them before Ask Not. But there are virtually no targets with Che. So I think we start with Quagmire and a coup, right? Because uh, they're unlikely to find a way to drop DEFCON. Unless they use We Will Bury You. Which would be weird. But let's headline Quagmire. If they headline We Will Bury You in a weird esoteric way to drop DEFCON, that works in our favour, because we can tap West Germany, score Europe domination, and then do other things. But we'll be spacing grain sales, eventing and repairing John Paul, lamentably. Yeah, so they just jam Asia. Which we can repair and then get a coup off. Please miss. They do not miss. We'll have Argentina. Uh, we barely get it. So they will now ABM it back. Oh, that was their other card. Well, that's awfully convenient, isn't it? Oh, we want to try and tag them right at the end of the turn, don't we? So it's space grain sales. Oh, come on. Will they ask not now? Or will they ABM first? If they ABM first, we could always tap West Germany and hope they ask not. They're either going to go ask not now and save ABM, or they'll ABM now and ask not later. But things are not looking good. We want to get the China card back and we want to DEFCON suicide them. Because we are losing to war games and we're losing in final. My oh my. Oh, well. I've been helped along the way. I think, you know, the scoreline should be 14 or 16, I suppose, with special relationship the way it is. So I've, I've, gotten, I've gotten lucky to be where I am. So there's my every cloud having a silver lining.
if they do ask not now, I will just repair North Korea and kind of resign myself to the fact I'm not going to get Europe for Dom. So I'll go one Argentina, one North Korea. Going to space first, greedy. Okay, um, are we going to have a go? Let's see, they don't want to use Brezhnev, they don't want to use South African event or Portuguese Commonwealth, so they'd have to use ABM for ops. There's never going to be a better time to annoy him in Europe. So let's do it. You either have to use ABM for ops, give me the China card, or give me Portuguese Empire or South Africa. And I don't think you want to do any of those things. So let's hope he thinks I'm running a bluff. Okay, great. Getting the China card back here is gas. North Korea is safer. So we now overprotect Argentina. Event Europe scoring and event and repair John Paul. Smart. Ditching those nasty cards and holding Ask Not for a more dangerous card. That's definitely the right thing to do. Can't fault the play. With Warsaw Pact still in the deck, I may avenge on Paul and put two in Cuba to get domination in Central America and precious and bad decision making on where to target ABM. But I don't know. I still need hopes and prayers at this point. Uh, adjacent. Yep, build up, non-battleground presence, try and deny domination. And now if you coup Sahara or Cameroon and succeed, I will John Paul. Nope, just repair South Africa. Great, and overprotect, okay. So we will break John Paul and dominate Central America. And see if you don't use ABM because with Warsaw Pack still out, this suits me okay. But I'm guessing you're Brezhnev to finish the turn. I'd take Miss Lenvy now. Yeah, that's to be expected. No Ortega. We do get Warsaw Pact. Terrorism. See if we can pull Arsenal. 
that Defcon suicide him. If he's got Lone Gunman as well. I think we're going to need a super cool Mexico and drop Central America scoring for dollary dues, right? If we've got a snowman's chance in hell. Terrorism. Now he can just keep DEFCON up if he does have a DEFCON suicide card. Yeah, poop. Yes! <laughs> Water pull. Uh, and sadly, if he's got Lone Gunman, it doesn't matter an iota. Thank you. Oh. Are we going to trade Africa for Central America? Let's do it. 50-50. Nice. I mean, if he's got Lone Gunman, he has to play it now, but I think it's distinctly unlikely. A counter coup? Miss. Oh. We'll not be greedy, and we'll take seven. Yes. That gets below war games. That's another reason to do it. But now we want to start running up some country count in Africa. We quite like him to overfill Poland. Great. Fine. Take North Korea. Want to make sure we keep getting our pound of flesh in Asia. Shuttle dip goes. Rusp was the counter coup. Yeah. So Chernobyl AR7. We event Warsaw Pact to clear Poland out. Although we need to put another op in Poland first. So I guess we'll tap Poland to get them to waste another turn. Great, using Eastern European Unrest is good too. Yikes. Strong coup though. Ah, yes. Alright, we'll tap Poland. Space VOA. Event Warsaw Pact to clear out Poland. And then AR7 Chernobyl. Uh, yeah. 
optimistic Q on Cameroon, I guess. Well, at least we've managed to dodge war game. So, we know they don't hold Lone Gunman this turn. We're looking for Aldrich next turn, right? Because Yusuri and Nixon have gone. If we can get Aldrich next turn and leave them with Lone Gunman, we're laughing. But I still think Defcon's the way we're likely to win here. Although, maybe I'm now being overly negative, right? If we can drop Africa for not domination. This is clutch. If we can get Africa not to be dominated, or even in South America, ahead in Asia, Middle East, and Central America, even in South America and marginally ahead in Europe. This is... Yeah, okay, it's, it's better than it was, while still not being great. I may be being overly despondent here. So I'll have a sip of tea. That will calm me down. If it wasn't so hot. Oh, Brush War, splendid. Haven't seen that for a while. Algeria? Oh, level up there. Very clever. Okay, so... Oh, man. Reagan Bomb lives here is, isn't enough ops to retake the Middle East, but then I wasn't expecting to score Middle East before final anyway, so do we not worry about it now? Yeah, so we'll space VOA. Oh, come on, Ross Cosmos. We're just giving Star Wars options away at this point. Ugh. Now they're going to get to headline peak, which makes Aldrich that much worse. Yep, perfect. So now we'll event Warsaw Pact and remove them from Poland. And AR7, we'll put three in Israel. Probably should have done it the other way around. Although, I don't know, Chernobyl's Chernobyl. Well, that's just Sunkar Aldrich chances. Because if they're holding Lone Gunman, they'll see us headline it. So now we have to, if we get Aldrich, we now have to run the bluff where we don't headline it. Hope to drop DEFCON before they play Lone Gunman and then sting them. But they can always get away with it now. So we're now not going to win on DEFCON, it doesn't look like. Oh, uh, should have held Voice of America as well. That's probably a mistake too, because now they've got a great Star Wars target. Should have probably held it an extra turn and used Reagan Bombs Libya, because now they can salt it, of course. Perfect. Well, I brought that on myself. Oh, what a lousy coup. Hey, look, if we're lucky, they won't use it before... We can all ditch it from their hand. Uh, 
Oh man, I really made a rod for my own back there. What a moron. All in Asia could be worse. Do have Aldrich, don't have Lone Gunman. They're going to see the headline. So we have to headline how I learned. So if they headline Lone Gunman... We can drop Defcon to two. So that's that's the must play. So, if they don't headline Lone Gunman, we can event Cal and Coup to drop Defcon to two. That's a shame. So now we drop Defcon to two and Aldridge them. So if you've got War Games and Lone Gunman, I'm laughing. And you have neither. So, what's worst? Solidarity. Yeah. Worst than special relationship, yeah. So, we've once again failed to capitalize, and we've got no more discard options, and we're now well behind with Africa dominated. So, that's all a bit of a shower. I think that's probably the game lost. Five-year plan gone, and they've got SOTGOV, IPW. So this is fine. Now we know we can't... Yep, yeah, and five-year plan's gone. We can give up the China card now, knowing that we can't DEFCON suicide them. Defectors, Libthy. Special relationship D style. Unbelievable. Well, sometimes you don't eat the bar. <laughs> okay, here's a game we were never destined to win. <laughs> oh, it's been a good run. Yikes. Um, 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 um. I'm not giving you special relationship. Not unless you give me liberation theology. Well, if Asia hadn't flipped, the game would have been close. But now it's a blowout. Okay, so you will give me it. That's nice. Ah, but you're only putting one in. That's... So I will tap it again. You want to use D-style on it? Um, however bad this map is, Asia would have made the difference. 
heinous. Absolutely heinous. We oui. oh well. We did everything we could, but it's not our day. Going for it. Bold. Yeah, finally got the message in the UK. So, one in France. Oh man, Kitchen Debates is now... That's kind of crappy. And it just gets worse and worse. So you're going special relationships or socialist governments. You can go socialist governments now, of course, because the UK's safe. Oh well. This game did not shake out, tragically. Yeah. Yikes. I mean, I feel like we have to give them a mitt. Because we now can't give them kitchen debates. So now we'll pull out five red cards. The game uh, was definitely lost at the point that Aldrich didn't pull on Gumman and then they flipped India. Yikes. Uh, could have been worse. So, arms race, Iran contra. Great, and we get all the DEFCON droppers, and finally Asia Scoring shows up. Now it doesn't matter. This game is over. What did they ditch? Iran, Iraq, and Cuban Missile Crisis. So we get Thatcher the Betrayer. More VPs for them. Duck and cover, so we've got two DEFCON droppers in our hand. We've got things that give VPs, things that give VPs, things that give VPs, some things that give VPs, none of them to us. Yeah, what a great hand to finish. Fan dabby dozy. Uh Capture Nazi. The blandest of the headlines. But yes, this, this jig is up.
It was a fun old ride, but um, hmm. Yes, not getting brush wall or ABM, and the flip of India was just uh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, why not? At this point, it doesn't matter. Come on, War Games, let's not take this to final, please. I've been embarrassed enough. Yep, thank you. Good game, good game. So we're 0 and 2 for the start of this year's Ritzel. Let's hope it gets better because really the only way it can get worse is if we go 0 and 10. So, but thank you for watching. We'll see whether uh, we can pick this up later in the week. All right, thanks a lot. Until next time, bye for now.